the lesson what we've learned really from this is that even something simple as putting in a door is not always as simple as it, as it, as it looks in the first place, especially when you've made everything yourself. Good day everyone It's natural living with Marks and Sun Hello YouTube! We are tired but good going to the land now first time for us to sleep in the yurt and we are really excited about it and also really really tired because we had some tough some tough days with a lot of um, rainy and um, moist and thunderstormy incidents where the roof uh, almost flew off one time and we were standing in the rain dripping and uh, holding the roof for it not to fly away and then uh, the next day we were busy with uh, oh actually the water fell in the back one second yeah so that was pretty tough but then uh, we we fixed it and we put some earth anchors that we will show you very soon now and yeah so we fixed that and now it's our first night to sleep in there let's go so we packed some things a backpack full of clothes some sheets packed in some sheets a nice lamp and here is our first night in the Ewart. Still not finished, not nearly finished even, but yeah, it's a nice, nice evening and just unloading and talking at the same time. So um, yeah, it's, it's really nice that we can finally sleep here and we will show you how we, how we will make the bed and stuff like this. Here we are at the land. There's some thunderstorm damage. We had really a lot of wind, a lot, a lot of wind, which thank God is now over. It's like the worst storm. Some, some of my colleagues told me one of the worst storms in 10 years. Just when we are building up the yurt. Ha! But um, yeah, it's good also to now be here and And so, basically what happened was that all of a sudden it was really windy and then all of a sudden I heard Max screaming from the yurt because I was inside one of these little houses and um, I was looking what was going on and then I saw him like hanging on tightly to the roof canvas and um, yeah, that was pretty, pretty, pretty heavy. Um, and so the roof canvas flew off and um, the roof canvas flew off and we had to, with three people, there was also a friend of us, she was also there and we had to hang on tightly to everything and, <laughs> and um, yeah, and then we got soaked, like everything got soaked and it was super cold and it just kept on going, I think it rained for like uh, four hours but like heavy, heavy rain. And then also what happened was we had no electricity in this village where we are living in, in the next village. Where, um, so it, it was all a bit crazy that night. Um, so now what we did to sort of, it, it was a blessing and a curse, which I guess always is the case because then we realized that the things we did so far to attach the canvas are actually not so 
good because it was still able to fly off so what we did we made some extra 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 additions which i will show you now so what we had before i will show you it was just it's just this just this and we we um this is like the canvas and here inside there's a rope um and what we did basically was pull it really really tight and then also over these poles that are here over these roof poles so that like we thought if it would fly up it will be something like this well that didn't really happen it just basically just flew off <laughs> so what we did is we made some some extra additions which is I guess what an addition is it's something extra so it's like this we made this thing and we put it in the floor and we did this around we did this four times all around and so now when the wind comes it, it it's like tight we hope we have to see <laughs> until the next storm but so tonight is our first night in the yurt and as i said it's not nearly finished because well uh, also because of the storm the floor got wet uh, inside because the canvas flew off and this was actually the second time that this happened in the last week uh, that we had problems with wetness um, and actually we figured out that this uh, nice floor that we have is not so um, not stable enough really for everything so we bought some extra floor pieces that we will have to put in like this like just plain wood like i don't know how you call this in english actually it's like you click it together um, and that's that's what we'll have um, that's what we'll also have on the floor and then as extra insulation we got this for free which is really cool from a friend like cork insulation like extra so we will have to make the floor we will have to cover the floor first with all the cork and then we will make the um, the click wood <laughs> I don't know what to call it. <laughs> then we will do the click wood. And yeah, but uh, it's amazing, amazing that the yurt is standing and basically also that it survived one of the heaviest storms. Um, uh, I don't know, ever? I don't know if it's ever, but it, like, it's a, it, was a, it was a heavy storm. And not only that, but um, we've heard a lot of people uh, talk about roofs flying off which I guess also happened to us, but with us it was just canvas and with some other people it was really not canvas, but roof. So um, it's good to know that actually our yurt is still standing, all the roof poles are intact, uh, the wall is intact, everything's intact. Um, so time for sleep. It's tiny mattresses for tiny people, which basically means not for us, but <laughs> let's see if we can go through the night with this. And now, the moment of truth, the thing we've all been waiting for, for the last year, is... The door! Woohoo! Really? Is that what you meant? Yeah, it's like the, the finishing touch of the yurt, yes. right? <laughs> sort of ah. the door is inside we just have to put it put it in just uh, is that gonna work yeah I should spit around oh actually we need a hammer for that maybe not mm, uh, maybe for the last part but maybe let's first try the other try part the down one. Yeah, now it's going through, but not entirely. Okay. Okay. Rubber hammer? No, nothing. I have it here. 
Perfect. Last one. Last one. <gasps> Keys. Welcome to the elf house. Yay. Wow, it looks so cool. It looks a bit weird because it looks like an outside house. It looks a bit funky. You know it doesn't fit. Yeah. It actually doesn't close, people. Yes, Three, two, one. Hi, I'm home. Hi, hi. <laughs> Sun is currently installing the mosquito net for tonight. Mosquito. Yeah. We're looking forward to have some insulation in here because it's pretty chilly. Good night, my baby. Good I love night. you. This was our first night in the yurt. Yay! Thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't yet. And have a nice day. Bye!